I would like to welcome Dr. Carl Burdell here on Natural Medicine World Channel today. Mm. It is just so wonderful to be able to have um, conversations with your doctor that can go from crystals to organic farming to very serious uh, medical topics. So welcome. Yes, thank you. <coughs> it's uh, really such a treat to be here. Thank you. Today we're going to talk about insomnia, anxiety and um, stress. Mm. But I think before we get into all of that, share some of your pearls of wisdom with us, your principles of health. So that's quite a wide topic, but <laughs> <coughs> probably an, uh, an important one. So I've been in practice for 30 years. Uh, I started off with pure medicine by chance started using some natural products and herbs, eventually homeopathic combinations. And I would say the most important part probably of health, I find um, the basic is nutrition. So I've gone through all these stages and I can look back and I can see the importance of every, every one and how they fit um, together, but if you don't have the basics in, doesn't matter what you use, you're going to not have a decent building. You need the foundation. You're talking about the patient now having a foundation of good nutrition. Of good nutrition, uh, not just nutrition, but of the basics. That's basically good nutrition, clean water, exercise, stress release, mm -hmm. um, clean air, uh, and you can do something about all of them. Sleep is important um, and we, we're going to talk about it, but um, I want to explain firstly, may, maybe start off with the, the basic principle of health is that how do we stay healthy? We keep our body healthy through cleansing it all the time. Mm -hmm. So every time I exhale, I get rid of carbon dioxide. It's a waste product. When mm -hmm. I sweat, waste products. When we go to the toilet, waste products. What happens when you get sick? The first thing we do is there's more of that. So your nose starts running, your eyes will water, you'll start coughing, your tummy will run, you'll have diarrhea. You build up a fever and you sweat more. Mm -hmm. And what do we do in medicine? We block that. Suppress it. Suppress it and block it. Mm -hmm. So we dry up the runny nose, we give a cough suppressant, we stop the diarrhea. Um, took me quite a while to realize <laughs> doesn't make sense. Um, but Because that's what you taught as a, as a, in, in medicine school. You, in, you taught in, to suppress in medicine, and block and yeah. use drugs. Every time you, you have a problem, you treat medicines to stop that problem. And it took me quite a while to realize that the, I'm interfering with the healing process. I had to treat many people and have them come back again and again until I said, but I'm interfering with the healing process. So what is beautiful with herbs and homeopathics and lifestyle and nutrition is you don't work against it. Medicine is very important. I'm very proud of, of mm -hmm. medicine and what we did and where we, what we can do with it. It is a very, very powerful tool to save people's lives. If a patient comes mm -hmm. into my rooms with a heart attack, I, I'm not going to give him homeopathic drops. I'm going to give him morphine, put up a drip, get him to the hospital. They're going to do mm -hmm. angiogram, put in stents or do a bypass. Sure. And that's Big, the typical integrative medical practice that you're describing, isn't it? So, yeah, the, in, in integrative medicine, you integrate different modalities and we all integrate different things. Some use homeopathy, some might use acupuncture, some people use herbs. I, I find there's a place for everything. I haven't found one whether it's physiotherapy or acupuncture or massage, there's not one or medicine mm -hmm. or an integrative medicine mm -hmm. practitioner. There's not one single answer for everything. Mm -hmm. And I think people should realize that, that the Western med medical doctors should realize they've got their place, mm -hmm. but they will get so much uh, uh, better results mm -hmm. if they use the mm -hmm. other things. I wish I could... Well, I see it with my patient. Patient need to go for a knee replacement. I go, 
nutritionally pre prepare them, detoxificationally, mm. is there such a word, prepare them, <laughs> so that when they have all these medicines and mm. chemicals and anesthetics, that they get rid of it quickly enough mm -hmm. to, so their detox organs needs to be nice and mm -hmm. clean and they need to be in good nutritional um, status before they go. I'm so, really, really tempted to interrupt you here, just because... I'll carry on for a long time. I know you will. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's important that you do, and please do carry yeah. on. But I think the point that I'd like to, to just pause over is detox, mm. because I know that, that people tend to do an annual detox or a fashionable yeah. detox like women. They might go into a detox and then they don't like the symptoms and they stop. And I've heard that they detoxify, for example, into the connective tissue of the breast. And that can have its own ramification down, down so the line. So the problem with detoxification is you need your detoxification organs to be nice and clean and open. All the time. All the not time. And especially area. before you, yeah, but they, they detox, not they detox their body, they don't cleanse their detox organs. So if I want to clean this room and I leave that door You're closed, welcome. I'll. <laughs> <laughs> Later. Uh, you, and you sweep, if you don't open the door, all the muck will block, get blocked there. Right. So, we drain the tissue, the body through the lymphatic mm -hmm. system. Mm -hmm. It's passed on into the vascular system, goes to the liver. The liver takes the toxin, changes it through a two-step process, phase one, phase two process, then passes it on to the kidneys or to the gut. Mm -hmm. um, so if you have a blocked lymphatic system, and you open up the lymphatic system and it gets to the liver, but the liver is not detoxing mm -hmm. well, then stuff builds up. Mm -hmm. And that's the, we talked about cleansing. The first part is to, to remove. The second part is to deposit. If you can't remove it, we start depositing it. Right. And the breast and the uterus are wonderful depositing mm -hmm. uh, tissue once a, 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 a woman has passed her uh, reproductive years. You don't want that. So the liver, if the liver can't get rid of stuff, um, it builds up in the body. If the liver can handle it, pass it on to the kidney, and the kidney can't get rid of it, then it, again it has to be mm -hmm. deposited. Mm -hmm. Once it's deposited for long enough, it gets impregnated. Then it stays there per permanently. Mm -hmm. Very Is that difficult. Where the fat to, cells come in that it fat encapsulates cells, the toxins. Fat cells. Your, your muscles, your tendons, sinews, joints, right. all the things that get nodules and, and okay. um, uh, uh, yeah, calcifications. And if that continues, that tissue starts to go downhill mm -hmm. and eventually it goes de degenerate and eventually it de-differentiates so it mm -hmm. becomes cancerous. So before a person detox does a detox diet, they should clean their detoxification organs. Mm -hmm. First the kidneys, because that's the last step. Then the liver, so that the liver can pass it on to the kidneys. And then the lymphatic, so that right. the whole system is clean. Right. And the gut is probably the most important part. Mm -hmm. If you if you constipate it, if you don't, we should clean clean the gut three times a day, half an hour after each meal. Nobody, I hardly ever see anyone where that happens. But you eat a meal and then mm -hmm. your gut should get rid of the stuff. Some people take days before they go. I know. And, and it's amazing problem. when you just sort that out, mm -hmm. how, how many problems. When I see a kid with skin, mm -hmm. I sort out the gut and the, right. and the um, uh, detoxification process every time. It's amazing. Please, will you really come back and let's just do an episode on detoxification? Detox, yeah, cleansing and detoxing. Cleansing, please. So that's the important <laughs> part. We stay healthy through cleansing the body. So nutrition, nutrition, sleep, and clean air, lifestyle. clean water, exercise, stress release. 